Ho oh guys, Sujaru speaking. Welcome to Bedtime Stories, episode number 562. Terror Joe, Barris and Barris, Trick or Treat. So let's read out for show it. So we got for us. It's written by Stan J. Barris Day. Here we go. Both stickers include inside. See here are these stickers. Here we go. Zion Straw is super duper. How he calls me himself. Wow. Okay. Here we go. Even though bears expect a good fight when you go, they go out for treats on Halloween night. Wow, okay. Senior is this one, okay. Makes sense anyway. Okay, this is copyright 1989, our reserve, partial Ram House, New York. Senior is um, the pumpkin that looks at the cover art and saying, um, no, Papa, Mama Bear, Papa Bear, um, uh, we'll get the Royal Bear, Sisters Bear, we'll get the costumes. Okay? The size and size of arm were all around as Small Bear pushed her shopping cart around the path that led to the Bear family's treehouse. Okay? The tree and shops are emblazed with color. Bar Bear's pumpkins showed bright orange in the October sun. Wow. Okay. The clothes call noisily as they search the struggle for bits of corn. While gaze is great for the warm margins hog high in the sky as they flew south. south. Okay. Wow, it makes sense anyway. Even if it's a great idea, it makes some more sense. Anyway. The difficult ways anyway. Next page. Anyways, um Oh, that was a dumb one. Sister Bear is a um, Bowery, okay. But the st street's sure sign of a season was inside the treehouse, hiding behind Paul Bear's early chair. Wow, okay. Easy chair, so we're gonna. Um, it was Paul Bear waiting to try out his Halloween costume on Mama. Wow. It wasn't Halloween yet, but Brit Bubba and Sister couldn't wait until to try on their. New costumes. Scissor was going to be the beautiful Bowery, which I mentioned before. But anyway, what do you think? What, what do you think? She asked. Trying in the first position. Well, okay. Shit, brother. Mom is coming. Um, brother has chosen to be a spooky monster. We'll call it devil. Anyway. Oh, wait. Anyway. Um. Uh, yeah, but call it. Yeah, but <clears throat> Excuse me. Hang on, I need a drink. Hang on. <clears throat> Much better. Anyway. He had bought the, the spookiest monster mask you could find. And mom made the, the rest of the costume. Wow, okay. Makes more sense anyway. So there you go. Next page. Anyways. Wow. Boo! He shot at Baba. Came in, the, came in the groceries. Help! A monster! Uh, she cried. We can't be frightened. Okay. Um, it's only me, Baba. He said, showing his face. So it is, said Baba. Well, this is just going to, going to show that his appearance of I me mean, the, the devastating. Wow, well, okay. Appearance can be devastating. What's that mean? Asked sister. She's just growing up way for saying that things aren't always what they look like. Okay. Explain what I was He unpacked the groceries. Look goodies, said Blubber. Hands off, please. Say, Mom, those are trick or treaters who came come in our house tomorrow night. I agree. You should, should leave out candy for trick or treaters for the next day, which is Halloween. You know, makes more sense anyway. Bugs bothering me. Anyway, next page, anyways. Um, Bobber and sister were very excited about Halloween. And they're very nervous as well, okay? 
This was the first year they would be going to trick or tree without a quota. Um, along the support supervise, okay? I'm not going to be too sure about this idea of going, them going by themselves. We'll figure it out, okay? Said Papa as he carved the pocket that he's, that he's got from his father's van. Okay? It's pretty spooky out there, he added, making a scary face at the cops. <coughs> Wow, that ain't more difference anyway. So there you go. That is a great thing for Berenstain Bears. Next page. Anyways, um, now Papa said, "Mama, um, um, if brother and sister uh, will accept the challenge of going out of their home, I think we should go raise raise them." Okay, but remember, she continued, turning the cobs. Um, there will be strict rules. You stay in your old neighborhood. You won't be anyone of the trees until you back off. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I said, Barbara, we won't uh, really be, be our, by ourselves. You may have a trick or treat date with Cousin Frey, Lizzie Burr, and Queenie McBear. Wow. This had made more sense anyway. It was a great idea for trick or treaters out there. So often. For cobs like that. Next page. Anyways. Oh, man. Come on. There's the pop up. Putting the fish touches of the jaguar. They left up a candle inside of it and turned out all the lights. So, um, it's pretty scary. Wow. <clears throat> Makes sense anyway. It was a great idea to put lights out. The, the jaguar, I mean, it was pockets anyway. Sorry, I have to do this anyway. Next page. Anyways, um, the next day, brother and sister began plan the trick or treat world while they should follow that diet. Brother got a pencil and paper and the man made a map in the neighborhood. Huh? That was, that was explained that we, we miss anybody. Let's see. Now, he said. We won't, won't stop at our house first. Ours, Freys, and Lizzie's, and Queenie's. Then we'll do four bands and our sisters. Sarah's, uh, Miss Grey, oh, Grizzle, wow, okay. These girls for sure. Grey sister. Um, you usually make special Halloween cookies. Yeah. And Teacher Jane, she always uh, gave out good stuff. How about Miss Dr. Grizzly? As Bubba. She, she's in health snacks. Okay. I think so. It's just be polite. Says this. Exactly. Mm hmm Gramps and Gran, of course. Of course. Uh-huh. Good enough makes sense anyway. As Sister Blair says, be polite. Okay. Next page. Anyways. I'll tell you one place where I'm going to miss, um, said Barbara, following this map. What place is that, asked sister. That one, he said, answered, pointing out the one window and the one on the home of old Miss, Miss Gris. Mm -hmm. It's a spooky, twisted old tree, house and a ticket, um, at the end of the crooked lane. Ah. We're gonna definitely not go in there, he added with a shiver. Um, spook attacker? Okay. Wherever, why ever not? asked Mama. Who was listening? Why not? Uh, said the cubs. Because she's a witch. Well, that's why not. Okay. Come spook attacker, taste to me. I was gonna have a next between spooks and everything like that. Come on, it's a sp spooky story. Come on, next page. Anyways, I mean, what's our nonsense? Protested Baba. True, Miss Miss Grit, Miss Grit, something like that. It's uh, old. Excuse me. Anyway, old and bent, and rather bent looking. But I can assure you, she's a very nice person. Thank you. 
but the Cubs didn't believe her. Um, you need to believe her. Anyway, not for a minute. There are no better. Everyone knows, but no doubt about Miss Miss Grizz. My dad was a witch for sure. I doubt it would be a witch. Yeah. Just after dark, a pirate skeleton and the Wicked Queen from Snow White and Seven Dwarfs, and anyway, from Disney. Anyway, came for brother and sister, okay? They were uh, Frey, Lizzie, and Queenie. Of course, um, and um, together they were venture out into the darkness with their trick or treat bags. Good enough. And that makes more sense anyway. It was a Sad J. Barristan book. So there you go with that. Next page. Anyways. Before they could get started collecting Halloween goodies, they were joined by a, a, some war in some company. To Taylor Grizzly in the game. Which, like, why? And you know, Alpha Mischief. To tell what they didn't waste any time trying to get brother, sister, and their friends to go along with him. And his gang. That just okay. Bits and pieces of that. This whole hey hey hey. Things is like why. Anyway. Come on, we'll show you some goody goodies how to have some real Halloween fun. <clears throat> Excuse me. He said to pull him around his arm with him. Excuse me, anyway. It's so hard fun, that's Bobber. Where are we? Um, you, oh, you might see, you might say, where you're going to, to, to trip back into trick or treat. No. Come on, man. He said, chuckling, and it was so dark that Bobber and the others didn't know as where well they were okay. Devils, you are. Come on. Hey, says sister, this is Crooked Lane. You two are. That's just. That's just, that's, these, those barrels are evil. Come on. Those cubs are just terrible. And if I'm going to steal a cub like that, the bear's going to growl and like, Rah! All right, next page. Anyway, that's right, said Too Tall. We're going to play two tricks on Old Witch McGriz. No, you will not. Thank you. What sort of tricks, asked Blubber. Her grab tricks his old tree house room ahead. Mm -hmm. What's well, taking that to take care of you? Anyway, first whispered to Tom, talking, taking a roll of toilet paper from the, this jacket. Nasty, and up. We'll decorate her house with the little of this. Then maybe we'll tie in a few knots in her clothesline. Then smear some honey. And a boomstick she'll shoot, stick to it, and when she tries to fly. That's not very nice, people. Come on. You can't do that. It's just... If I'm going to do something like that, that's just not very cool. It's cruel, though. It's going to say my upcoming Born Jokes episode, Mr. K, a visit to Friendship Fields. Next page. Anyway, um, but before too tall in the game, this game, you got Started mischief. The front door opened the bright, went we all white, stabbed the darkness. Oh wow. And um there um in the, in the dark doorway. Um should the frightening feature of old Miss Miss Frizz. Aha, she said in the very voice, I'm ready for you. Yeah. What does how to do anything? Yeah, I just don't know. So, pun. Yeah, yeah. So, hi, I'm the Margaret Hamilton Bear. I want to do something more. Um, scared the cops away. Oh, what I'm saying. Anyway, Margaret Hamilton, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Wicked Witch was different, and she was about um. That old when she retired to be a wicked witch, you know. And if I talk about it in my boring jokes, um, um, in that, not boring jokes, but in the Don Mary Sands of 1980, Wicked Witch of the West difference, um, interview, 
You know what I'm talking about. But anyway, next page. Anyways, she then led the terrified cops in a cozy living room. Wow, well, okay. To their great surprise, there was a big tray of beautiful candy apples all prepared for Halloween visitors. Wow. Mama is right, whispered she says to his brother. Miss McGriss was a very sweet, kind old person. Exactly. The cops thanked her for the beautiful apples and went about the rest of the trigger of the trick or treat business. Exactly. You have to make more sense of Halloween sense. There you go. Next page. Anyways. Um go. Yeah. Later that evening, Barbara and sister were all at home looking all over the over the treat. Um the beautiful candy apples were shut out. Um trees that have quiet this morning, that's what we can't be okay with apples through that, something like that. Um, um, and Paul asked where they came from. From Miss Miss Grizz, answered Blubber. From that scary looking old grouch pot, um, puss that, um, lives in the crooked lane, said Papa. That's right, said, uh, Blubber, taking a delicious bite out of this candy apple. It was delicious, you know. Try out that, Papa Bear. Come on. And it'll be delicious for you, Bear. Well, I'm starting this book, by the way. And this is the last page. Okay. We have some more stickers going on at the last page. Yeah. You must really try to remember, Papa, says Sister. Give her apple a little lick. Parents uh, can be quite deceiving. That's good enough. So there you go on that. Last pages of this book were about stickers and um, they had this book. So there you go. So it was uh, Bear Say Bear's Trick or Treat. What I think about this book? It was amazing. So far this book was a success. That was Bedtime Stories episode number 562. Hope you enjoyed. So it was going to be Bedtime Stories episode 563, which would be about Bear and Ole. Who swallow goes. Now my coming up next, there will be a brand new video every day October day with 23, 2024 edition. Until next time, this is Jess by Baby. Good boy, Baby. Soon say out. See ya.